Hey what's going on guys, it's Ash here and you know what this means, my hair is greasy and short and all the prices I talk about in this video are a few days out of date. It's an Ash 368 YouTube video on Cosmic Sky, I finally made one again. Uh, but yes, welcome on a serious note to a, well more serious, I don't know, uh, welcome to a new series here on the channel. This is kind of tutorials, tips and tricks. Um, now before you click off thinking this is going to be a bunch of newbie stuff, some of it will be, some of it will be like kind of advanced tips and tricks. I kind of want to do a little bit of myth busting and test out a few rumors that, you know, like high level players keep saying, you know, certain certain different rumors about different gems and stuff. And I kind of want to test different things out as well in this series. Uh, but yes, welcome. Um, if you're wondering where the YouTube series, the, the previous ones went, uh, yeah, obviously I was going to edit down the streams into a series for this, for this season of Sky, but there wasn't really the audience for them. I mean, the first video is on like a thousand or something views right now which is still pretty good but they took a long time to make so i'm just focusing on streaming hypixel skyblock and cosmic sky over on twitch which is more than enough to keep me busy which is why this video is a few days later than it was recorded live over on my twitch which i do apologize for but anyway um yeah we are here me and stian we're obviously streaming every day so if you aren't watching the live streams of us playing through cosmic or if you just want to watch the full series i mean you can re-watch the live streams that were recorded you know weeks ago at the start of the season if you want to so the first link in the description for my twitch second link in the description for this man's twitch he's been carrying me quite a bit we're is top number eight at the moment i think we're second on hardcore so we're doing pretty well we're doing pretty well for ourselves um but anyway yes this is the first tips and tricks tutorial ish video um this is about iron adventure so how much money you can make in iron adventure now i tested this all on stream it would have been like it would have been days ago now to be honest it would have been like five days ago so lots of the prices i don't even have audio on so lots of the prices that i talk about in this video are like a little bit out of date um but that's all good that's all good um you can kind of you kind of get to know what the prices are i guess um in iron adventure in a good set you make 50 mil an hour i mean i can show you real quick what the set is that me and stian use for iron adventure here it is high level chaos cow pets um those are the swords that we use we use um you can use multiple skins but i've been using the party blade recently in, in iron adventure and that seems pretty good i think i was using rocket boots in there at the time as well as a staff pass and an autumn amulet um here is our god prop for iron set so i'll have a new i'll have another tutorial video i'm gonna have i'm gonna be, be making loads of these simply i'm gonna be honest with you because it's kind of quick to make like it's just one take me rambling to a camera like it usually is on my twitch streams um but i think it will help out a lot of newer people and a lot of just a lot of people on the server really so i will do one of how to build a good set what sort of enchants you should go go and put on your set in what order um that kind of stuff and how to build a good set for adventure but it is quite a good set and obviously i was using a pack mule um while i recorded this bit we've got a few more pack mules since then but uh yeah i was just using just using one pack mule at the time so yeah, that that is that is the set. So it's you know it's it's the upper end of what you can make in Iron Adventure. But I am gonna have a YouTube video out of this series of how to make a good Iron Adventure set, and then also some glitch spots for the different adventures. So if you guys can't afford a good set, you can still get insane loot in the adventures by jumping to a place where the mobs can't hit you. So it's just easy farming and easy money. You can literally go in without armor in some of the spots that I'm gonna show you. So that video will be coming pretty soon. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so that, that's the set I was using. Um, and obviously, as you can see by the, probably the clickbaity title, it's 50 mil an hour, but that video, that title isn't even correct. It's a lot more than 50 mil an hour because this next bit, which I'm going to show you, which was recorded like five days ago on Twitch stream. Um, I will try and make this a daily series, but I can't really hold any promises because I have been super tired lately and I am kind of prioritizing streaming on Twitch over the YouTube a little bit, which I apologize for, but I just want to keep to a schedule over there. You know how it is with Twitch. So um, yeah, there will be a huge video again, hopefully tomorrow with another tutorial type. I kind of don't want to make this video too long so it doesn't put people off watching. But um, yeah, I mean, in, in the clip, which I'm about to show you taken from the live stream, we get a lot of loot, like um, different nodes and spawners and all, all of that stuff. The prices for those is a little bit out of date. So I don't actually know what the prices are now. But I, I just was editing, you know, the live stream when I added up, you know, I, I did a one hour run and I did a two hour run on stream a few days ago. And 
the money from those is, is going to come soon. But yeah, I was, in the one hour, I made about 30 odd, mil, 30 odd mil in it. And that was maybe like six, five days ago. And then like four days ago or something, I did a two hour run in Iron Adventure um, and made 100 mil. So 50 mil an hour in there. But it's a lot more than that now because just editing that, all nodes were a mil per. Oh, they've gone back down. No, I think that guy's just quick selling. You know what? I'm going to snipe those real quick. But um, yeah, gold nodes are up at almost two mil per. Obviously, it's double adventure points right now. So that's why the price of lots eventually was kind of dipped a bit. But gold nodes are best part of two mil per. Iron gems with 200k per. Um, a few days ago when I recorded it, I'm sure there were a lot more than that now. How much is an iron gem? 500k per. There isn't really too many people selling it, but I know there's lots of people in my stream chat at least who are trying to build decent iron sets. So price of gems has probably tripled in price since when I since when I um recorded this bit. Now iron nodes are at 2.5 mil per, but there's double of points right now, so they're roughly 3 mil per. They were 3 mil per yesterday. Oh, there you go. They are up to 3 mil per again now. So yeah, I, I think in this. In, in the clip you're about to see, I was counting them at 1.5 mil per. I basically added up all my loot. Um, but basically, the price of everything since then has risen just with inflation on the server. So I'm predicting, I mean, I'm, I haven't redone the maths because honestly, I can't. I don't have the time and I can't be bothered. Maths is, maths is not particularly fun. But um, yeah, I mean, the price of everything's doubled minimum, probably more than doubled since then. Obviously, iron node prices doubled, gold node prices doubled. Gems are a lot more, dust is a lot more. Uh, all of the stuff in that adventure is is a lot more than that now. Um, and I didn't even include money on kill and XP on kill from killing the elite, right? So, yeah, it's a lot more than that. I'm going to say Iron Adventure is probably now like 75, 80 odd mil an hour if you've got a god set. And you're running, um, I was tanking level 7s in this, by the way. Tanking level 7 elites and, yeah, mainly killing level 7 mobs. So that was kind of where I was in adventure but yeah uh 70 million an hour in iron adventure not bad obviously you can see in the in the following clip after the run where I talk about how much money I make in it um my inventory so you know whatever the prices are at the moment on the server you can kind of you see how much money that is basically but uh yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um it is now nine minutes long so yikes I should probably shut up and show you the uh edited part from you know the live streams of a few days ago um but yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos. I will try and make a few more of them. I'll make one on Diamond Adventure Money per hour pretty soon. Uh, I'll try and get that out tomorrow. And then I'll make one on building a set. And then I'll make a few more on showing you guys glitch spots. And I'm going to do YouTube videos on building different automated farm designs. And how we make so much money on the island. And best ways to get an island XP. And kind of all this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, just kind of everything. Every everything island, Cosmic Sky related. Yeah, is, is going to be coming in this series because they're just a lot quicker to... I think it will help more people. More people come in my Twitch stream asking me for help and tips and, you know, knowledge about the game. So I think it's it's something that you guys want. And it's also, you know, and obviously rather than me just addressing it person by person on YouTube, uh, on Twitch, sorry, it's a lot easier to just make one YouTube video you guys can just come back to and send your friends to if they're, if they're new to the... Uh, new to the new to the server but yeah this is going to be a series so link in the description to the to the series playlist of tips and tricks on sky and um yeah i'll try and i'll try and pump these videos out at a good rate and i do apologize for not doing the normal like let's play ish series but um yeah i think this video this sort of series will help more people it's what more of you guys want and it's a lot easier for me to do because i can literally just ramble off to a camera all, all, all one take but anyway i'm gonna shower i'm gonna um render this video finish editing it and then i'm gonna go live on twitch if you do want to watch the twitch streams hypixel skyblock cosmic skyblock please stop by i will obviously say hi to you and uh any other questions you you might have you know about cosmic sky i can pretty much answer them or this guy can answer them he is very much big brain um but yeah i'll see you all on the twitch streams i'll see you all on tomorrow's youtube video for i don't know what i'm going to call this series yet but tips and tricks sky i i don't quite know but uh yeah See you then, and here's the pre-edited bit from a few streams ago. So I've been in adventure for about an hour 15, about an hour 13 minutes, which is not that long, really. Especially as adventure gets more profitable the longer you spend in it, obviously, because at the beginning you're just farming the adventure upgrades, but once you've got max adventure upgrades, you know, you make make more money from then. So, um, yeah, really not bad. Let me go stick the set away in case 
Stia wants to use it real quick. Um, but there we go. All right, well, that is not bad. Let me go count up the loot, I guess. So how much are the nodes worth? Let me check that real quick. So this is like an this is an hour worth of venturing, I'm going to say. It's literally like an hour, 13 minutes, but this is probably an hour worth of farming adventure with good upgrades, I'd say, with max upgrades, is what I've probably got here. That's, you know, maybe a mil worth for those, maybe at a stretch. So... What's that? We're on 25, so that's like 30-ish. Slot bot tickets, got the multi, which is like half a mil. All of these auto bots, which, I mean, that's another 1.5 mil just sitting there. Each of these mining bots is worth a couple hundred K. Same with the planters, same with the harvesters, like two, 300K each. Got a sharp four as well, I found. I didn't even find a socket, and you kind of expect to find a socket. Or like a skip block every now and then, which ups the value a bit more. But I'd say, yeah, probably made like 35 mil. That's what Steen got. Steen got 35 mil an hour when he did his two-hour run, and I got 35 mil from an hour, what, like 10, 15 minutes, which is about right, really. Um, obviously, if I was doing it longer, it would be, it probably would be 35 mil an hour because the second hour is more profitable with the upgrades. I didn't even count this, but this is like another almost one mil worth of iron nodes. Um, so yeah, really, really not bad really not bad the packing makes it so much more profitable being able to bring out all of these things most of these this stuff we're just used for the island to be honest loads of these nodes to build the uh, nether what farm but yeah that's um really not bad really not bad Do these things still needs no they don't, they don't need that many of them okay well I'm, I'm happy with that let me go shovel these bots away didn't even pick up any crafting bots i mean if i had more pack meals i could if i and more pack mules, I can maybe pick up more bots. I think I picked up all the bots, but... You know, if I was doing a two-hour run, I'd obviously need a second pack mule, which would probably be more profitable to do a longer run. Um, but there we go. Not bad at all. Probably, yeah... Probably more than 35 mil an hour when I think about how many <laughs> how many bots we got. Oh, he wants my loot. He wants my lootings. All right, well, there you go. Can you keep it all? That's the question. Do you have enough? It'd probably be easier if I just chuck the pack mule to you and then you take everything from out the pack mule, wouldn't it? But so I started this run 52 minutes. Okay, I've been in adventure now for two hours, five minutes. So we can pretty much call this a two hour run. And obviously, you know, I I got two pack mules full of stuff because I just gave one pack mule to Stian uh, midway through. But yeah, how many nodes did I have? I had from 26 to 15 coal nodes. So I had 11 coal nodes, and then I had, yeah, 26, 26 iron nodes. So what's that? I can do the maths on this real quick. I'm pretty sure that's five more worth of coal nodes. They're just under half a mil each. Wow, there's some cheap ones there, actually. It's not bad at all. Okay, yeah, it's like it's like five mil worth of coal nodes, maybe like four point five mil worth of coal nodes, and then let's say twenty five iron nodes. Even though it was twenty six, um, they are one point one point five mil per each now. So that is what. I mean, that's the main reason you go iron adventure is for these for these iron nodes. But that's a lot. I'm trying to do maths is hard. Um, what's that? 30, 40, 26. How can I not do that in my head? 39, 39. <laughs> Took me too long. But I like roughly a mil per. Um, so that's pretty good as well. So that's another another 10 mil, let's say, worth of gold nodes. And then multis are... I don't really know what the price of multis are. Are they still a mil per? Looks like they're a mil per. So we go with that. We go with we go with a mil per a multi, and then two hundred k per a regular gem. So what's that? Two mil, four mil. Let's say eight mil. Let's say nine mil. Let's say nine mil. Maybe ten mil. Let, let's do ten mil worth of gems. So that's up to like that's up to what seventy mil now. I think I'm just roughly doing this in my head. 
a bunch of mortars, so that's one mil each. That's another seven mil. We're up to 77 mil. All these spawners, which, I mean, they're 100k each. I remember lo looking this up the other day. So that's like another 10 mil worth of spawners easily, probably 15 mil worth of spawners. So what's that? 85 mil <laughs> easily. Um, the dust is worth a little bit more, which, you know, you can add if you want to, probably up to 90 mil. Um, if you can be bothered to sell dust, it's a bit of a pain to sell. I mean, all of this other, all of this other loot I get, all of these are just claim for the island. But you can sell these for like a few hundred k each as well if you really want to. If I had more pack mules, I'd be able to carry loads of this sort of stuff. Loads more bots that are all. I mean, fishing bots are like five hundred k each. The planting, mining, and harvesters are like three hundred k each. Um, and I obviously had a full pack mule of those, which I transferred over to Steam before. So. God knows how many, how much money that is. Probably another 15 easily mil from all, all of those. So I probably made like 100 mil, I'd say, across two hour run. It was a two hour, five minute run if you're being, if you're being picky. But yeah, a two hour, five minute run, about 50 mil an hour. So I'm not going to lie, Diamond Adventures got quite a lot to uh, live up to.